Hello and welcome everyone, Anha here with part 27 of the High Elf Tyrion Let's Play. We've done a war Warhammer 2, we continue where we left things off for last time. This is of course going to be an early hour special, you guys asked for it and I have listened and I giveth an hour to you today. Thanks again as always for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. I'll run through um, some of the kind of comments and discussion that you guys gave on the previous video once we fought this battle because we are going to fight it, we're going to sally on out take these guys down and fear not I am going to remember to move my princess um, who's been sitting in the Gaian Vale for way too long totally spaced on her for the last uh, video or so so my bad on that one uh, other than that though, um, I don't think disbanding that other army was a mistake because the reason why I've been doing that and the reason why some of you are saying like, you don't need to um, ransom captives anymore, you've got plenty of money. The reason why I want to keep just building up loads of money is because the more money we have, the more we can kind of regenerate Teclis' territories, which we're now making an active go of to reclaim. So that's why I did all that. Um, damn it, gamble. Um, but that's fine. So yeah, we should be able to blast these guys with dragon fire. Last episode, we were able to show its its power. I'm gonna get talk, get my dragons to talk. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna get my dragons to target the harpies to start with. They should be able to tear them down. Then once they've done that, we should be able to move on on the main force. Um, so let's have them uh, over here. Got my. Missile cavalry, which I'm also going to send after the harpies too. Um, and actually, yeah, spearmen and you guys. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. That's what I want. Phoenix guard flanking. And we're going to have these guys behind or missile troops and then white lions on the flanks on each side we have my mage and my noble will sit in the middle and we do have a unit of cavalry which I'm going to keep on over here right it's the terrain like actually I haven't really looked at that too much not amazing we'll move it on up Send my flyers after that clump on the flank. Archers. Cavalry after them there. Right, we'll be able to hold position and go off them shortly, although we do need to take out that uh, Reaper Bolt Thrower. So I'm actually going to send my dragon after that, because that can't be allowed to stand for too long. Yeah, we're going to get cavalry hitting us here. Buff you guys. That's it. Blast those harpies. Reaper bolt throwers going down. Cavalry into theirs if you can. Missile cavalry move. going after them. We need to get this dragon involved because otherwise it's big waste. Let's pull you back over this way. Eagle has broken because the harpies are descending. Let's bring this dragon on down here. It can blast into these guys. The white lion's successful on that flank. That'll be quite useful. Eagle, you're back. Go hit the bolt thrower. In fact, I'm going to Move the dragon here. And blast. Oh, that was actually wasn't that much damage. Just dive on in, dragon. You guys pull back, hit the lions. Phoenix guard. Let's get you forward as well. Oh, my eagle keeps breaking. Cavalry flank on round. So, right, we're holding. Those guys have all just been broken. Go hit the Black Art Corsairs. Attack. 
It's alright, Dragon's getting stuck in. Dragon causing chaos. Good. Alright, get up in the air because I need to blast some more people here with dragon fire. Many of those archers. Massive damage. Yeah, that's looking good. In over here. Dragon's getting involved. Archers, if you can, focus on that Dreadlord. Keep healing that Phoenix Guard. White lines, if you can, actually get out of there. Dragon pull back this way. Maybe because I want my archers to tear that one a new one. Over here. Dragon breath. Nice. Okay, Dragon, though, you're going to get taken out by all those archers if you're not careful. So let's pull you back. Heal the Dragon. Time we set the Dragon on that unit over there. Missile troops start working on their units now. Dragon should be able to tear this Dreadlord down nicely. Spears, yeah, you just keep them all away. Dragon's got them now. Once that Lord goes, they're all going to break. They're all breaking now. The Lord has been mushed. I think it's down here. Somewhere. Don't actually know where. But their Lord is mushed. Okay, we won't bother chasing them. We'll end the battle there. We definitely need to pay, take on replenishment after that. Because we did take a fair pounding. Dragon got 217. Yeah, now when Malekith comes, uh, we should be able to sit in the wall. So I'm going to bring my princess up north to be the renewed Shrine Guardian. God, that is very little replenishment, but we'll take all that we can get. For sure. Because yeah, Malekith's just waiting over there. Ridiculous. Now it's a full stack against us. We are the guardians of order. But yeah, I've totally forgotten about you. Hidden behind the Vortex. So let's... Um, Get you out of there, because you're not under threat from the ritual at all. Um, I serve the Phoenix King. Off you go. Shield against the darkness. Tyrion keep on healing Defender up. We've got this battle to fight as well against Prince these guys, which we will do shortly. But yeah, so we did. We dropped out that army um, that was just going on around. Uh, that is an interesting mix. Orcs and humans, fair enough. Um, but yeah, we got rid of that army that was just sailing on around just because... Because of what we want to do over with Teclas' territories of just re-securing these, we need a lot of money to be able to invest into them. So that's why we dropped out that army. It was full of just cheap units, so that's why I'm not too bothered with it. Um, loads of you making some suggestions for sort of Teclas' endgame army as such, or like later on when we've got dragons uh, and what have you. For now, this will do. It does mean we can probably build a secondary force down here if we absolutely need to. We've got to remember we lose 5k. We are also getting uh, upkeep reduction 
with this ritual as well, which probably isn't actually too bad um, in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, one more turn and Teclas can get in the fight and we can start pushing them back. Uh, somebody suggested popping in a hero with him as well, some lore masters. So we'll certainly look at adding that in too. Enchanted item. Let's have some good bits we can give him. Radiant gem of Hoeth. Wahania well, speed. Yeah, we'll go for the like, radiant gem casting item. Earthing rod, miscast chance. That would be quite useful. Uh, no mount for you. You've got sort of tech or something that you don't actually. Oh, no, you get a steed. You get a steed next level. Don't know if it's worth it. Probably actually useful for running him around, but I'd rather focus on giving him some magic. Definitely net of Amintok. Um, and then chain lightning for a good combo there is where, where I want to pursue. Next, uh, I want to build up all of these where we can. So yeah, that's why we're keeping the money for that. Plus, it means I can still continue to build up Ulth 1 because we've taken a bit of a, a whacking recently as well. I know we've still got the tower to reclaim as well. Um, probably what we'll do for that is actually spawn a Lord in and send it to grab it. Uh, have we got anyone that has extra movement range? But the next army I bring up, as I said, is going to be um, that princess that has the uh, range and missile increase and make her... Yeah, Hawkeye, that's the one. Um, I mean, we could pop her in now, but I don't want to... do have the influence. We might as well grab her because we can always bring her back. Uh, although, actually, no, if we, dis if we disband her to the pool... Well, that's the I'm going to risk her just yet anyway. Won't risk her yet. Tardy... Scornful, inaccurate. Okay, we'll just go, literally just go for top one here. Just to go and grab that settlement to resettle it next turn. Then we'll disband you. Alice is moving back up this way. We're going to retrofit him when he gets to the Eagle Gate. He's got a lot of territory in between. Some of you saying I should have got the piece with uh, Karond Car. I don't know if that's still open. Let's take a looky. It is still open. It would mean I could just focus on... Malekith for now and those dark and I do need to rebuild a bit. I am at war only with Nagron, not at war with Marathi yet. Um Yeah, I get you know what, let's let's do that because then it takes out those ships over there while I'm rebuilding a bit. Foolish request. Okay. Okay, how about an even two thousand? Agreeable. Done. Now don't do anything with uh, old Malekith. In fact, actually, maybe that's why I could use my influence to stop them confederating, but it might be a bit pointless. Garonkar and Nagarond, how are they feeling? Uh, yeah, deteriorating, actually, because they've got peace. So I could force their relations worse, so they're not going to confederate anytime soon. Um, silly. I'm surprised that he hasn't confederated with, with Marathi, because they are literally about to jump on top of each other by the looks of the relations there. But we'll wait and see what happens there. Anyway, uh, we have a butt ton of money. Griffin Gate. Let's throw all the upgrades in here. While we can. Yeah, I know we've got that army still to move. You don't tell me I've got all my heroes over here, so let's just throw them in. I am ready. Destruction! I await your order. There will be carnage! Are yours to command. You just Is keep moving over there. A lot of construction have we got. Calador's repose. Yeah. Chamber of Visions. Uh, they have moved away from that. So I reckon we can probably deal with that quite nicely. What are our defenses here? Yeah, if they're going to siege and attack us, we should be able to push them back. So that's all good. Um, we'll fix you guys up in a moment. There's going to be a rebellion there if we're not already attacked by these guys. So let's just go do that battle. And then with that, with the funds that we get from it, most battle loot, we can use that on the repairing the a strong leader is needed. Uh, Chamber of Visions. We'll fight this one as well because I want to bathe them in flame. The Black Guard. Got to pin them in our central line. Dragon fire. Blast them into bits and then smush them. That, that's literally the plan. 
gamble, please. Good, good. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that gamble. Nothing. Okay, dragons. Both sides. We're just going to hammer them hard. We'll put the phoenixes over on the other. Understood. Guys, stay here. Guard mode enabled. Sword masters on each flank. And two units of cavalry on each flank as well. And of course, yes. Uh, Rowan, Shrine Guardian, you can sit this side because you'll dragon fire from there. Yep, you do that. Do they have a Reaper Bolt Thrower? They do. Always with the Reaper Bolt Thrower. Okay, we'll move to them then. Probably don't need to move forward as far as that. We'll see what happens. Fast forward it. It's just good that my cavalry's going in the trees. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, my troops will be able to fire missiles from there, which will draw them in. Or at least weaken that. Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely shredding the black guard. Okay, cavalry. There we go. Now they're moving over that way. Wait for that line to clash. Dragons. Phoenixes. Oh, wow. That absolute shreddage. That's what we like to see. Cavalry in you go. They think they're going to flank us. They might just know. My cavalry's in there in time. Okay, dragons, now you can have your fun. Just had to wait until these guys got there. Oh, that fire. Buff them up to hold the line. You guys get away because you're right into Black Guard. Phoenix is back, you come. Dragons come back because we've got a lot of fire blasting to do over here. Cavalry back, you guys come. Burn, baby, burn. Dark Elf Inferno. I realise I may have burnt my own unit there a little bit. Oops. Let's fix that with a couple of dragons in there. I know their black guard will still be okay. Phoenixes, you guys are over here. You can drop some Phoenix. Or well, the fire, fire one can, anyway. Ready. Oh, they're moving just as I was about to start my Phoenix bombing run. Just about worked. Dragons have cleared them away over here. Nice. A decisive victory. Perfecto. Yeah, probably maybe eventually change these guys over to Phoenix Guard so they hold a bit better. Um, just have the archers at the back. I still like the versatility of 
the Lothan Sea Guard. Having that extra staying power will probably be quite nice about now. I think I probably will go. We've gained plenty of income there. We gained some armor. Uh, I'm going to grab the replenishment though so we can keep on pushing. Yeah, because they're going to run away. I don't know if I can reach them. Yes, I can. Armor of silvered steel. Wonderful. Immortality. Now you can't die. And in we go. And this time we'll order resolve. Um, and false slave. Yeah, capture. I'm not releasing captives where um, they're dark elves and what have you. You can use those. Now I could go and claim this settlement, um, but we do have a couple of stacks coming toward us, so I think I am just going to pull back to 51% and in camp. Actually, I could head up to the unicorn gate, couldn't I? What's the replenishment like over there? Just head over to the Unicorn Gate for now. That's fine. Level up again. You can have a Star Dragon. Boom. Bajan, because I want to get... Actually, I really don't care about those ones. <laughs> but we'll still get them anyway. Right. Over to Chamber of Visions to pop this extra money. Well, yeah, there's still all that to build up. But let's repair this while we can. Anything over here we can do. We don't have the capital that's held by the uh, green skins. You must restore order. Defense is in there. Rebellion imminent. Yep, yeah, I know. End the turn, see what happens. Mundi's taking Skeggy back. Quite literally what I'm doing in my Blizzard Men Let's Play. Oh, they're both coming down this way. That's That works even better because uh, my princess is moving that way. And then Mireille. They're attacking me at the Golden Colossus. Do we have the walls? Or is this uh, open field battle? No, it's open field, so I'm going to let them hit me. I'll take the hit. They are attacking me here, and I do have walls. Uh, and I'm thinking we can do a bit more damage to them than the thing. We can definitely slow them down here, so let's fight that one. Right, uh, no need to gamble on that. I've got towers. To Catapults, they're going to blast that side open. So, actually, might be, yeah, worthwhile to pop these guys. Uh, mm, yeah. I think you guys go on this side here. No way you watch out over there. Then we'll just put the white lions over here. Put the archers on that side, but we'll definitely space them out a bit more. Yeah, and you guys can have a thick archer block there. Cool. Actually, no, let me pop you guys up over here. Archers. You guys go there. There we go. We can spread these guys out plenty. Okay. Then we have cavalry, if they do manage to get in. My mage. Um, yeah, let's pop you here for now. And yeah, nobles that way. Let's see what we can do. Don't do much to their towers. But, uh. Give it a go. Okay, they're just gonna hit the gates. Fine, if that's what they wanna do. That's what we'll let them do. These towers definitely go after their artillery pieces. Pop 
pop that one right at the base of the wall. Okay, those gods are coming over this side. You guys shuffle over that way. You guys stay in the middle. That gives me room to pop these white lions in the gaps just about. so they don't take, well, any damage they do take they should be healed up on. Cavalry over this way. You play monks in here. Oh, I've just gone blessed with filth. Grand. Yeah, I'll just pull back so we can fire onto the walls. Cavalry, we've got to do rinse and repeat. Charges. You guys pull to the sides. back this way guys jump back on in my archers are having a should be having some good shots in here so we can get some cavalry charges as well that's it oh the plague monks have made it through Cavalry get back, so missile troops can keep on firing. Awaiting orders. Archers. To the fray. Death to all. White lions for duty. Charge into the clam rats. It probably won't win this, but we can at least try and take out as many of them as possible. Good. Those plague monks. Bested me there. Oh. Charge these guys. Try and hit the lord out. Keep these guys alive. Silver Helms, you ran into spears. Or you've run into. 
No, I think we're, we're, we we can't win it. But it's okay. We'll reclaim the territory. This will definitely slow this army down. Which is fine for now. Keep fighting, just keep fighting. Come on, you're doing good, guys. You're doing good. Oh, wow, that warp lightning cannon. All that damage. Oh, you guys are out of ammo. No. Heal up my mage. Oh, you guys just got wrecked. Oh, you guys are having a real bad time of it. Desperately trying to hold on. These guys have run out of ammo. We've taken down a lot more than possibly thought we might. Which is good. Yeah, do you have much much armor do you have? Ooh, a lot, yeah. Off their melee attack. In you come archers, help one out. I don't think these guys are going to last long enough for me to uh, swoop on in with my archers. I'm swordsman. These guys come. Come on, Noble. Look at that grace here. These guys are going down. Come on, I need this lot to break so that we can smash into the back of this lot. I'm gonna say, don't worry about those poison wing globe ears. Just on the off chance of this charge breaks these guys. So these guys are starting to struggle now. They probably will break before I get in there with these guys. We can but hope. That unit's broken. Quick. Quick sea guard, go. Hit him. Hit him good. They've got really low health. Oh, don't break on me. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, no, no, Noble. No. Ah, you just broken. That's probably going to break all my troops. Oh, no, my mage. Just stop running. No. Damn it. I hadn't lost that Noble. Maybe. Maybe we might have just broken them there. A valiant defeat, though. Take it. That uh, warp lightning cannon that got me. Damn it. Or was it a warp fire thrower? They even got a warp fire thrower. It like... Warp fire, but maybe it was a cannon. God damn we It's alright. 
a bit out of our range. Teclas is moving. Um, yeah. But yeah, I know. So disband. We disbanded the army in the north just because I kind of feel if anything, we, we want the extra money, but. If anything, we do decide we need another army, it's going to have to be another army to support Teclas. Otherwise, he's not going to have a hope in hell of, uh, of holding back all of those armies of Skrulk. In fact, we might start building up another one, I think, this turn. Once we disband the guy we just popped in. Uh, to reclaim the tower over in Lothurn. So just Can grab you. Assistance? Over you go. Colonize. And then goodbye. We build back up. And then Alistair, yeah, head towards White Peak. Looking good, looking good. So they've pulled back. They've got two fleets. Oh no, Malekith's pulled back with these guys. Okay, so we do need to get back over to the shrine. These guys are pretty broken. I want to get through and raise all these these along here. That's my plan, although we might actually... I don't know if it's worth claiming these regions over here. They are suitable. Make a, I don't know if it's worth, uh, you know, claiming that, uh, that uh, forward territory as such. Uh, Nagronia with just, just behind them. She's moving forward. Good. I just really need some walls and more growth. Um, in fact, part of me, rather than pulling back to the Unicorn Gate and rather than grabbing that, I think we should probably head over that way, then we won't get the replenishment. Protector of the Ever Queen. Uh, um, Tyrion, you really do still need the replenishment. I can move you to the Salvation Isles, though. Garrisoning. From High Vale. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. I second this. Setting up garrison. So it's gonna take you three turns to replenish. I feel like that's Princess gonna have to do. Aspen. Once you're on the walls of those archers, then we're fine. That's our weakness at the shrine. We have a few archers there, and they she should be able to get there. Instructions. Yeah, she can get there for next turn. Uh, for turn off of that, mm, they might have already siege. They shouldn't have pushed him for the attack yet, though. These guys should replenish in the next few turns. Right, Teclas, let's get you moving. My powers are needed here. Actually, let's pop the speed on the cavalry. Steady hand is needed. Wreck me some rats. Behold my power. Onward. The Asar rise against you. Against council orders. Great that. Yes. And we're gonna ignore the rest of that rebellion. It can't do anything else, so we're gonna pull Teclas over here. Charge resistance, that's nice. Arcane Conduit would be also nice, but I just want to get some magic with you to power level you. And yeah, I am going to pop the new, another Lord over here. We're going to go, I mean, I could go for that princess that I keep talking about. All the archers. Yeah, let, let's do that over here then. Let's do that. Eagle, uh, Hawkeye, there we go. Why the heck not? Yes, you do. Right, Seeking Arrows, we're going to spec her power above anything else because her range is already increased and her missile damage is already increased by 30%. So that's what we want to keep on doing. Um, keep increasing um, her damage. Valor of Ages. And I guess we'll have to think, what do we want to go for here? Um, for her, probably want to go for Isha, upkeep for Archers. Probably going to be that one. Probably going to be um, Isha. Take it Isha there. Um, reload time. Yeah, we'll increase that. Valor of Ages does her weapon strength, which we're not interested in. 
Um, we're interested in, yeah, dead eye, reload time reduction, ammunition. Which can keep on blasting away. And then not wound maker, but piercing shots. Um, and then volley of arrows. So that's what we're going to do first. So dead eye, dead eye. She's up to 457. The next point she'll go up to 494. Loads of ammo. 240 range, which is very nice. Good, good. Actually, have we got any buffs and bonuses as well? Definitely give us some armor. Uh, armor of the stars. Oh, armor, duh, duh, duh. Missile resistance. Go for ward sale. I think Gambler's armor is always good. Hand weapon. Oh, we want. I don't think there's. I don't think I've ever seen like a bow weapon. Anyone ever? Oh no, lie. The Reaver bow. Why have you got that? That's definitely going over here. It's Amon. Am I even using you? It's definitely going over to her. Yep. The Reaver bow. Talisman. Opal amulet's always nice for damage resistance, but that's uh, physical resistance. There we go. Enchanted item. Let's take a look at what have we got. Potion of speed. Acceleration. And then everything else is already claimed. Do -do 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 -do. Only that did. We need like a potion of strength, but for missile damage. I don't think there is one. Oh, that. Ooh, dragon horn. Didn't we have a spare one? Who'd this go to? Went to Tim. It went to Tim. I'd be very tempted to steal it for her. I think I will. Sorry, Tim. Seeing that dragon horn, because that's going to be nice in a pinch. Okay, it only lasts 29 seconds, but still, to blast away at sniping out an enemy lord, that's going to be good. No mount just yet, and then yet public order increase, and we have nothing else. We'll have to get some more banners and followers. So uh, I'm going to look through the cutie for a name for this princess. So if you haven't already left one, feel free to post on that cutie. It's linked in the description, and uh, we can go for something to do with her archer prowess if we want to as well. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a star dragon eventually. And because it's all about the archers for you. Um, I want to have that range on everything rather than going for Sea Guard. Just going to spam out those arrows. And on Global, we can also do that too. Um, so a massive Arch Force, although we probably should get some, some defensive troops. So if I am going to get any, it is going to be Sea Guard just to hold the line. So yeah, actually, we'll cover you. Ah, oh, no, I need one more to get it on. Can I offer a actually, is it cheaper to... How much, how much are... Missile troops? Can I cancel that? Get a sea guard that way. No, I'm still I'm out of money actually. That way. Because they're more expensive that way. Um Just go for another archer. Uh no, it's fine. We will cancel that upgrade on the mud isles. Oh no, it's done quite a lot. There was somewhere where I'd built something up, I swear. Or I just started doing that tour, Seth, eh? Yeah, okay. Cancel that. It's only, hard. It's only one turn into it. There we go. That gives me more to play with. Or the second army. So, yeah, you can have another sea guard. I think I'll just keep with four. Loads and loads of archers. Basic armies to start with while they're cheaper. And then once we gain some more income, then we can look to... Uh, Defender! I await your command. To upgrade them, make them more powerful. Plenish troops, yeah, finish that. Not that that's ever going to be used by you. Ignore, ignore. Commandment available, because we've got the whole region back. Nice. Tax rate and trade, yes please. Tim, my law master. Um, spread public order, no damage wall specialists, hinder replenishment, no, we've got the spells that I want for you now, so let's make you a bit of a fighter as well. And I took away your enchanted item. Sorry, not sorry. Let's give you potion of full hardiness, yes, for that charge. Resilient and sea legs. To command. Okay. And research wise, what have we got? Great weapons. Nice. That'll give us a nice little buff on those guys. Cool. Um, Tyrion, yet we've moved you over there. End turn.
Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, but Mundy's lost um, Hexotl. Hexoatl. And they've lost Swamp Town to Marathi. Oh, looks like you're in a bit of trouble there. Might be a, a dead Mundy soon. No, 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 no. Dead Mundy. He knows he's against us. Get Hearts Mercenaries. Oh, they damaged me walls, you sneaky boggers. But our uh, Malachis run home. They're now at war with us. Mission issued the Pool of Souls. Raise that following Norska Way Fragments. Uh, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think Pool of the Crow have any territory, do they? Is that even a thing? They were they were just uh, against someone Unthinkable. sent when they uh, pop the old uh, ritual. Oh yeah, I forget you guys have take ages to replenish because of the penalty. It's uh, minus fifteen percent. You guys have had a turns worth of replenishment here, but this army you can get over there next, and they'll only make it to shore. They won't be able to move up against it, I don't think, whereas you'll be able to move on in and help on out. So that's Defender all good. Salvation Isles are already Ever set up you. nicely. Me and Sendry Mage. We can pop you on a horse. Da, 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 da. Uh, but we still need to go through all your magic first. Uh, dwellers below. Regrow. Let's go for... Against AP damage replenishes combatant. Dwellers below. Earthing power drain. Getting conduit. Well, actually, I am throwing you straight into battle, aren't I? Let's do that. Can't wait for level 16. Chariot smashing. Um, we could go and take and establish this settlement. The Admiral is nearby, but there's no armies moving in just yet toward us. Tort Ranok, we do need to get some walls in there pronto. Might be stretching Tyrion a bit thin. Though we're still not at war with Marathi. Speak. It's interesting. I guess she's got her hands full. Yeah, let's go. Let's go grab it. Oh, didn't realize they were there. How are you hidden? Um, in that case, I'm gonna treasure hunt first. Oh, that's mission aborted because it's realized it's um, destroyed the patch. Oh, seriously? Oh, dear. Chaos Corruption plus five. Corruption I thought makes them it wasn't... I remember inhaling it last time and that didn't seem to go too well. Oh, well. Servant of the king. Yeah. To victory. So... Uh, well, to be fair, Tyrion can probably solo those all on his own anyway, but we can't colonize this turn. So we will just wait. Not fully healed, but that's okay. Um, in fact, just pull you down here. You're nearly healed. You're nearly there. Uh, Alistair, you can claim me White Peak, please. Province has been secured. So we're going to go for construction cost <laughs> reduction, um, which yeah, won't cancel those buildings and wait until next turn. We'll just go from here. Um, move you to the Eagle Gate next turn if we can. And then we've got all of our forces heading on that side, which is good. Uh, I'm not going to get you guys to grab more influence just yet. Not worrying about Krokgar or the Southlands at the moment because we've got plenty to keep us busy over here. They're not attacking yet. I don't know where that army's gone. My powers are yours. But we want to claim Copper Desert. Uh, well, actually, do I? It's uninhabitable, so shall I just leave it or should I bother with it? That is, that is a good question. 
So you know what? I'm going to deal with this rebellion first. Cadet See it off. My powers are needed here. Enslave them. Uh, yeah, we'll ransom you. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe let's not... Let's go... F I mean, Chamber of Visions and this one are unpleasant. These guys are unpleasant, but... There's some... There's some good gems and income to be had from them that we can probably deal with. Same with most of these. They're all unpleasant climate. Could probably take them. Is it worth doing, though? Or should we just hold on to what is habitable for us for now? Obviously, these ones we'll try and hold on to. Because we've sort of started. Um, you guys have already got that one in there. There's no ports here, so that's pointless. I guess public order, or we can go for more growth, but then we don't need that directly. Okay, let's go for that. It gives us a bit more income. Actually, really, I should not have done that. I should not have done that, because we need to recruit some more units. Um, okay, let's not build, not build, not build. Just make sure those defences are going up for now. And, yeah. Don't go too archer heavy, actually. We've got loads with techless there. But then we can just shred any enemies coming towards. Yeah, let's go for that. And then the rest is going to be... Uh, so, infantry, we can go for some sword masters again. They're expensive, but worth it. And we can get some cavalry in there, too. And when we can get dragons later on, better. So yeah, actually, the Turtle Isles are the only ones we can have. Oh, and, the, and these ones. Might just be best then just to leave the others wrecked, um, as long as we clear out Skaven from them. And just hold on these. The, we can take this element down here. Might just be less of a headache. Oh, that's their ritual site. How much has Skaven got left? Oh, we can go and take out and knock their ritual out. Okay, let's do that then. Yeah, let's do that. Let's head on over and knock out the ritual site of the Forgotten Isles form. That's going to be heavily defended. We should be able to deal. Um, no, I recruited the units that I wanted. Though we haven't gone for anything from global, actually, have we? Which we could... It's got to be one turn stuff to make it. Oh, uh, Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers. Yeah, they'd be nice. We can't get them normally. Let's throw one of them in. They're fun. We are going to sit back and snipe. You can forget about that. You move. We've got research to pop as well. Rebellion over here. Yeah, we'll have to deal with that. It's going to go for these two. They're hitting the Skaven for their ritual. Yeah, I think we won't bother with uninhabitable ones. Unless you guys think it's a worthwhile investment of our time with Teclas over there. Great weapons, armor for chariots. Humble stop piles can't go for any of that. Well, that would be really rather useful um, for the construction cost reduction. Court advisors, none of that. So let's go and buff up some of my troops here a little bit. I have silver helms and chariots, so let's go through that and reduce their cost. And just for islands, that one over there. Any skulls? Plenty of little islands. Oh, hello, skull over there. What? How many of you are like? There's a skull, and I just moved Tyrion away. Okay, maybe we can send that one. We can send Alistair after it if no one else grabs it in the meantime. Any other skulls? Any other skulls? No. And you guys are all happy over here for now. Good, good. Oh, there's a storm brewing. I didn't sar to sar. Okay, that's fine for now. Right, end turn. Okay, they're gathering their forces together. Ah. 
Ah, and I've been ambushed. Dun, 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 by Pustin, which I imagine is the chap who I've been chasing for a while. We'll have to fight, and we'll have to turn the ambush. Just going to be trying to get our archers out of, out of there. Battle of Caverns of the Great Bat. Ever vigilant. Oh, thankfully they are not set up like I would. Oh, they've got two armies. Oh, okay. Here we go, Swordmasters. I saw my eye getting mushed a bit. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, they're hitting us from all sides. You guys go that way. You guys go through here. Guys, turn around that way. Tech, let's get your ass back in here. Let's get in there. Oh, wow, we, we've been jumped on by something big here. It's a lot larger army than I thought. Weaken that Lord. Say so reinforcements coming in too. Charge block, don't need to be out of combat. Six, wow, that is very powerful. Yeah, he needs to be out of combat for that. It's going to end well for Teclas. Oh, God. Every time that just drops the sword of Teclas. Massively. Oh, and he's broken. No. My army's gone. Wow. Okay. That is... 
that was a massive jump. I think they just um, hit me with everything they had then. Well, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, they hit me with two armies. Which is Texas' whole army wiped out. Damn. Okay, so we're going to have to rebuild. Well, it gives us a bit more money to play around with. Um, <laughs> why aren't you guys defending against your ruddy ritual enemies? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I need more, more powerful infantry in uh, that other army. So we've probably got maybe even too many... Uh, bloodlust. Isn't in a region with high vampiric corruption. Oh, goody. Where is that? Oh, over there. Okay. Fine. Well, that's bumped our income back up. <laughs> wow, okay. These guys are good, though, so they should be able to hold off if they choose to attack. But yeah, we got jumped on by both of these. That's where the other armies moved back to. Our ritual finishes next turn. Nagron sends this one. If we want to get to the Forgotten Isles, we're going to have to shift, but I think maybe don't bother about trying to stop them yet. Um, I would love to get some Phoenix Guard in there. I really would, but I think go for those guys. Got spears. Slightly upgrades. Got the bolt thrower this time. It's just that we jumped on by two armies, what we're going to do. anti infantry armored and shielded. Uh, go for two of the cavalry units. Is that going to take any more? <laughs> Dragon Princes. Amazing. Yes, please. Um, we go for regular Silver Helms, actually, with them. We're good to move out next turn. Just not shielded. But yeah, let's go for that. And the army is good to move to reinforce out here. So a bit of a setback there. We'll have to get Teclas back on the field in... Let's see. Where is he? Four turns. Okay. Back up here. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Corruption makes them weak. Your bidding. Princess of the Azul. In defense of Ulf one. Okay, I can't quite get there if I do that. So we'll force Marcher to the shrine. Then we can take them on. Oh wow, Hydra's, yeah. Definitely worth getting in there. For sure. Um Tyrion and this one. Tyrion, go take out this army. Oh, here, let's try this. Setting forth. Finish them off. There is glory to be nice. Uh, see if we can get some replenishment. Mm, not much, but it's we'll take it. My strength grows. Fortunately, I can't get you back there to claim it, but you're going to move back here to protect this army then, which will go in and colonize it. And then we have the whole province. Do-do-do-do-do. We're going to need to be construction cost and everything else. That's fine. Have we got any of these we can pop soon? We've still not got the archive. We've still not ever got that one. Wow, oh, okay. Fair enough. But then it's not how much I've really... shows how much I've used that. Eight turns until we get that one. Uh, 21 turns until we can get that one. That is a good one. Invocation of Isha. And Vol... Invocation of Vol, six turns. Okay, that's when we want to go on the offensive. Is that army causing some trouble that way? You guys over there will deal with that shortly. Let's just get Alistair over to the Eagle Gate and we are going to completely retrofit his force. Um, so feel free to suggest specs for his army. We'll pick that up next episode. That's where we're going to wrap this one up for now. So I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride into the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors. Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one. Ciao for now.